Hi everyone, this is going to be my newest What's Cheering Me Up Right Now video, my first um, new pens of the year. I got a nice um, ballpoint pen from um, Retro 51, it's from their um, discontinued um, rescue line for dogs and cats. Unfortunately, the final um, dog pen was sold out by the time I went, you know, back to gold spot, but you know, like I guess it just wasn't meant to me, but they did still have some of the cat pens, and I also got the last... Um, pen um, holder with the both the dogs and the cats and it has, it's reversible so there's you know like one thing on one side and one on the other it's obviously based off of the pen designs and I also got a dip pen that had been you know discounted in a couple of inks and that's like pretty much it you know I am holding to my you know promise to be a lot more responsible with um, spending in this new year so let's just open the box and so first out it looks like this is the ballpoint pen yes it is the cat rescue I absolutely love you know the retro 1950 one designs they almost all only have them um, roller balls they have a couple of ball points they're refillable obviously because like these are too nice to throw away after the ink dries up and they do have a couple of fountain pens but their like main like business thing like seems to be well it is like you know roller balls and I just love the design so much obviously when I take the plastic off you can see it um better without the you know the glare from the lamps and the computers. I just love cats so much. If you watch my shorts, I've been putting up a bunch of cat shorts recently. Some of the, most of them aren't like recent. They're just from the last year or so or whatever. I'm, because I'm obviously focusing on my writing right now, so I don't really have time to do a lot of, you know, serious long form videos. So isn't this so absolutely adorable? I just, you know, love cats so much. I cannot wait until I have my own home again so I can you know, take care of my own cat who lives with me all the time instead of only, you know, like, feeding and playing with the cat and just like, filming them doing cute stuff when I see them outside. This is so freaking cute. I'm, and obviously, you can convert... The, I know you can convert their um, roller balls to fountain pens and their ball points to roller balls. I don't know if you could convert a, a ball point to a fountain pen, but obviously, I'm just going to see how the... Oh, obviously, I have to lower the computer so you guys can see it... Um, better up close this is just you know stuff for writing samples this and this yeah there it goes isn't it so so pretty you can like adopt me like feed me this is the cute little um cats I just, and blue is my second favorite color if you um couldn't all ready tell I just you know love the color blue and I love animals I when I was much younger I thought of, seriously about you know becoming a vet but I, you know, I I could not emotionally handle putting an animal down so obviously that's not a career for me in this it's going to be a surprise yeah this is a oh and this is the the, the thing at the the top of the, the finial I'm sorry I was blanking on the name of that um part of the pen it's like you know the dog and the cat and it's a knurled so you like twist it like this that there it goes yeah it's not like the click ball point so it's already like higher class than the ball points at which I am um, used to um using it I guess I'll leave it aside to do a, a writing sample at the yeah here it goes the little stand at that end of the video when I've like pulled everything else out of the box this looks like it is the dip pen I I, I just really really wanted to like this because I saw it had you know the quill on it obviously this isn't like a real like goose or duck or swan feather or whatever but that is definitely on my you know writing instrument pen um bucket list like dream like fantasy wish list to have someday just like I, it would make me feel like you know really in touch with all these like writers from all across history who wrote with quill pens like you know I'm like connected to them in some way even though like I, I'm almost like 100% positive like writing with a, a real quill pen would never become my you know, like go-to everyday style of writing but you know it would be really really cool to have this in this I wasn't sure, like, you know, what type of pen exactly it was when I saw it, like, you know, fountain or dip, but, you know, I don't care. I just wanted a something really, really cool. This is, you know, as close as close as I can get at present to, you know, writing with a quill pen, like, you know, all the writers whom I love throughout history. So this is um, really cool. I didn't notice it when it was, you know, still in the plastic wrap. There's a double-headed eagle on the dip pen that's so freaking cool. Like, I don't know how many people might... Uh, know this but the, the house of Romanov also had you know a double headed eagle on their uh, coat of arms which is really really cool and the eagle is also really important to you know like the Polish national identity coat of arms as well so that's like really something additional I've been a Russophile for like over 30 years now since some um, December um 1992 and a purple is my favorite color this is you know like a match made in heaven for me and this is from um wearing Gule. it's a set so I know this is um this yeah th these are um Korean letters. I can recognize Korean, but I cannot read any Korean letters, although that is on my bucket list of alphabets to learn in future. This is just, you know, so cool. So this is really cool. I wasn't expecting these to 
come with a pen. I guess they're like different um, nib sizes, so you can like pull on and off in addition to the one which already um came with the pen. This is like so freaking cool. I'm sorry if this is not really like getting into focus. I know the quick time isn't the best um, camera for filming, but and you can um obviously see closer the double headed eagle and the beautiful um purple pen. I thought it was supposed to come with the purple ink from Wearing Gill, but obviously I'm not complaining. I do have purple ink as well as other stuff, and it looks like this is the pen stand you can like, rest it in. This is so absolutely awesome. I'm going to have, you know, so much fun with this. Although, of course, obviously, like, a dip pen isn't going to become my, you know, the major pen I write with. It's just, you know, something really fun and cool to, you know, add to the collection. Isn't that cool? You can see it, like, right there, and I don't know if this, like, comes... No, this, this thing doesn't screw on and off. It's just something that, you know, looks cool along with the pen. These are the um, two inks I bought um, both from Diamine. This is um, Magical Force. I believe this is a shimmer ink. I wanted something that's a little, like, you know, brighter green than the Dark Force, which I already have, and particularly because now it's you know, getting into, slowly but surely, getting into, you know, like, warmer weather. I thought that might be a, a different, like, a better, like, seasonal choice for my um, beautiful um, Foresta Umbra pen from... Um, Leonardo, although obviously I do love the Dark Forest ink. It's in particularly because that just has so much um, Dantean symbolism. And this is um, Wild Strawberry from Diamine. I, well, hopefully this ink will be more of a true red. I know like two red can be like really, really harsh and glaring and blaring on the eyes, but I just was kind of a little bit, I don't have any red inks at the moment, but I just, you know, feel like the orangish ones with kind of red tones they just lean too much into brown when they're actually on the page although obviously I realize that can also you know vary by the type of paper you're using and the nib size but this these are going to be you know really fun to play around with and I'm um, last but least this is a little um pen holder you can hold on um, two pens in it this is from um Bagworks let's see how do I open oh here that it's at the top like this oh I'm sorry I'm not even doing it on camera these are like you know the dogs and the cats you know adopt me hi there woof woof rescue friends forever you know but what does it say oh that's just the name of the company on the side adopt and here's the thing on the other side as well you know bff z's rescue hello adopt it's so important to you know adopt animals who are waiting for you know their forever families and shelters you know why would you like breed or get from a breeder when you can just you know adopt your new um buddy i'm sorry i Missed it earlier. There are actually um three um not um two like you know like nibs you can replace. I'm sorry. There's way too much light. There it goes. Like you, there are three nibs you can use for the dip pen. So that's going to be really you know like fun to play around and see you know what size they are. So this is going to be a writing sample with the dip pen. I'm just going to write quill pens are awesome. Let's see if you know any ink actually comes out if I like dipped it correct. Let's see. Oh yeah. Ooh, and I like this red. This is really pretty. Quill. And I'm, uh, pens are awesome, and I do apologize uh, again because I do not yet have like an overhead um, filming capability, but I definitely will be, um, you know, looking forward to doing that in the future because I know this can look a little bit unprofessional because everyone else on Fountain Pen um, Tube does, you know, have the overhead um, capability, and I did experiment with my um, computer, like nothing really was the same, like, oh, it's already running out of ink, it's fun, uh, so I'll, that's also, you know, a lesson to see, you know, how much um, ink it can take at one time. Obviously, it's not meant to have, like, a huge reservoir, hence, you know, like, dipping like they, you know, did um, back in the day, and I only had one more um, letter to go. Quill pens are awesome. This shade of red is also awesome. This shade of red is also awesome. Oh, and it's already written um, dry again. So, you know, obviously that's just, you know, just a couple of letters at a time. But, you know, that's really, really fun. I'm happy I got it, particularly because, you know, it was um, on sale. Just I wipe it off with um, this thing. It's going to be so, so fun. I'm sorry I'm saying fun too much. And now I'm just going to do see how the ballpoint um, turns out. Because, you know, I haven't really been using ballpoints much, although I do still have a couple of notebooks. The paper is just like too thin really to like take fountain pen or rollerball ink not for you know want of experiment but you know sometimes you know you can't use fountain pens or rollerballs for everything and so let's just um see how this one and obviously I will oh I should I'm sorry I'm all over the place the this is what it um looks like um quill pens are awesome this shade of red is also awesome I was going to 
right? So isn't that a really, really um, pretty red? That's definitely you know, much closer to the, you know, type of red I was um, looking for instead of something that looks, you know, more brown on the page. And so obviously I am planning to build my ink collection up much more over this um, coming here. So I'm just going to write I love cats with this ballpoint pen. There it goes, and it looks like this is black ink. Oh, and I really do like this ink. It's like much darker than I'm used to from a ballpoint pen. It even looks a little bit more, kind of like um, rollerball cats and all, almost all animals. I mean, there are a few I don't like. A squirrels have, you know, creeped me out my entire life, but uh, pretty much like all animals i absolutely you know love them so much that's why i wanted to be a vet when i was a lot younger and i would love someday to have you know like a whole house full a big giant yard full of all sorts of like beautiful like fun animals yeah this is a really really nice um ink i wouldn't even know this was bulk. where is it yeah, i love cats and um, oh i even forgot to write the word um almost all animals that's <laughs> silly there it goes and so yeah, this is really, really high quality ballpoint ink. I would never know that I love cats and almost all animals. I would never know this was ballpoint ink unless someone had told me. So this is really, really good. I really enjoy um, Retro 51. And now I'm going to have, you know, so much um, more like fun, not feel so like, oh, do I have to use this when I'm writing in the notebooks I got before I started like writing almost all my stuff with like fountain pens. So yeah, I won't feel, you know, like, guilty or compromising or like this is so much less than I'm used to when I still use a ballpoint and you know like notebooks like this or like just some of the other notebooks I already bought you know years ago and I'm still writing in or like have to get to in future that you know the pages are just like genuinely too thin to take a fountain pen and sometimes you know I'm sorry I sound like a broken record but you can't use a fountain pens for everything sometimes particularly because like oh obviously though there's so many reasons why you like would have notebooks that can't all take, you know, fountain pen ink, but you know, it, and it is just good to have different types of pens and like sometimes like, like some forms you have to fill out, they need ballpoint pens. I'm sorry if this is so rambling and all over the place, this video is totally unscripted. I'm really, really going to like um, using this and particularly, you know, sticking it in the, the case and you don't have to put it in the, obviously I don't have the dog pen, but you know, just, and it's a little bit kind of small, but you know, obviously you can just pull them out again. I really, really like what I got. And so hopefully um, if you've watched to the end, um, please um, leave a comment, tell me what you think of the pens, which I got. And I will see you guys again in my next video. Thanks for watching all the way, all the way to the end. Bye.